What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is going to be a different video, so I'd advise you grab a drink, grab a snack and just chill and follow me back in 2020 where it all started. OK, I want to give a big shout out to Descript because we're going to talk about this program and why I wish I would have had this bad boy in 2020 when I first started YouTube. This is great for all you beginner creators and even experienced content creators. And we're going to talk about why. OK. Let's take it back. 2020, I started photography, changed my life. I knew I wanted to expand my audience, YouTube. With YouTube comes content, video content. I had to purchase a camera and a lens. I really wasn't too informed about the pre-production process, right? And as I was filming these videos, I noticed Number one, I lacked quality. I wasn't comfortable and the editing process was just very, very daunting to me. So we're going to talk about these three different components that really, really helped me in my content creation. And we're going to break them on down as to why they did. So I have the camera, I have the lens, I start filming myself and I noticed the audio is just very bad. Well, I didn't have a mic. I was recording all the damn audio from the internal mic in the camera. Don't do that, rookie mistake. Descript really saves you as a creator because with Studio Sound, which is a tool that they have in their platform, it clears up noise and it gives you professional sounding sound. So you're not reliant on having to buy an extremely expensive mic. Now you invest in your brand, right? Invest in your product, invest in your production, but no need to spend crazy amount of dollars for sound. I moved to LA as an actor. So you would think, and I'm, I'm segueing, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm excited, but I'm segueing a little bit. I moved to LA as an actor. So you would think, you know, why wouldn't Mike be comfortable in front of the camera? He, you know, he's on TV, does different things, but me talking to the camera right now is a very personal experience. It's different. It's very different than shooting something and not having to look in the camera and just be very intimate. I had a problem with doing this. Like I was talking and I was doing this and I was just doing this and I wasn't comfortable with putting my eyes down the barrel of that lens. But guess what? Descript has a feature where you don't need to always look at the lens. It will correct your eye contact with the lens. So I get it. People are uncomfortable. I was uncomfortable. And I just know that this is a relatable subject matter for a lot of beginner creators because you go from not having to interact with yourself through electronics to having to do it all the time. Lastly, post, very daunting. I think that as a viewer, you look at a video and you're like, oh, it has to be easy. But you don't know what that creator went through to make that video. If I had the necessary tools to speed up my workflow, I think that I would be much further with Descript if I would have had it to begin with. They have a text-based editing platform that you use transcript to rearrange, to cut clips, to edit clips. My priority has always been photography, right? So for me, that's the priority. But I think to really become an efficient content creator, you have to check all the boxes. You gotta be able to edit. You gotta be able to edit efficiently. Long form, short form. You, you have to serve as a team within yourself, within your business and Descript really does give you that opportunity. We're going to talk about all the details. I'm sorry, y'all know I'm long winded. I love to talk things through slowly, but we're going to go through the platform. I'm going to show you guys. Number one, the difference between the audio right now and the difference between the noisy ass audio outside. We're going to go through me not making contact with the lens, me making contact with the lens. And we're going to go through how simple it is to cut clips at the click of your keyboard. I think it's pretty impressive and I'm really, this is something that I'm really excited about. As y'all know, we're in 2025. AI is something that's predominantly being used and it's only going to keep being used and integrated in technology. So the old heads got to get with the times. You got to get with the times. You got to adapt. So yeah, let's, let's, let's hop into it. Let's get into it. 
All right, guys, so we are now outside next to this loud ass street. I'm currently talking into a mic, which you can see, but Descript's studio sound eliminates the need to have to have an external microphone. It cleans all the audio up and it makes it sound professional in a sense. So we're gonna give you two different variants, right? As y'all can see, I'm talking through this DJI mic and it sounds pretty good, it's nice. But um, Descript allows you to change all the noise, clean up everything with the click of a button. All right, so this is me in 2020. This is how my damn audio sounds. We're using internal audio right now. You're hearing the ambient sounds, it's loud. It doesn't sound good at all. You can't hear all these damn cars. This is not good, but this feature is good. So yeah, we, you know, we're talking, I'm close to the camera, backing up, you know, this is just, this is not good. This is not good at all. It's not, it's really not. If, if you're filming YouTube videos like this and you don't have Descript, you're going down the drain. So I really want to make the click of a button now. So now you guys can hear the difference of before and after. We're still internal right now. This is all in camera audio. Um, and I figure, why just talk about it and not do it? Y'all can see right now. No, this, this mic is not being used. Just saying. You know, when it comes to content creation at times, people make excuses. And excuses, as we know, get us nowhere. I got my boy right here shooting me on an iPhone. And as you can hear, we're using the internal audio on the iPhone. And it doesn't sound good. Not really clean. But I think that the excuse of needing an expensive camera goes out the window with Descript. We're going to switch it using studio sound. And I mean, you can hear the difference right now, or can you not? You know, so I don't know. Maybe if you have been wanting to start a YouTube channel for years and, you know, you can't afford a camera, but you do have an iPhone. And these cars are loud right now. I mean, show them. Show them the cars. That, that these, the, the cars are passing. They're passing. You know, I'm just saying. No, 2025 is the year of no excuses. And Descript is giving us the opportunity to not make excuses. All right, all right, all right, all right. So we are in studio, back in action. As you guys witnessed, the barrier to entry is very low when it comes to audio and sound and excuses to becoming a content creator. Now we're gonna get into the fun stuff. Descript has an insane eye contact correction tool. So when I first started out, I was uncomfortable. I was looking over, I was looking everywhere and not making direct eye contact into the lens, as well as my diction, my speech, used a lot of filler words because I was uncomfortable. I didn't know what to say. I was searching for different words and Descript helps you with that as well. Another excuse gone down the drain, two excuses, two in one. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take a separate clip of me looking away from the lens and show you how Descript can enhance and correct your uncomfortability when it comes to looking through the lens. And look, when it comes to YouTube, you have to make content that's personable, relatable, and you want your audience to feel you, see you, but also feel you. Um, and if you're not making that eye contact, I don't know, it's kind of like a barrier being put up. Right now, as you guys can see, I am not looking into the lens, but with the click of a button, with the eye contact correction tool, it seems as if I am looking in the camera and I'm comfortable, I'm talking to my audience, I'm relaying the information, y'all are feeling me. Just saying, beautiful, beautiful tool. I'm gonna look back into the lens for this one. Filler words. I think one of the most common issues with content creation when it comes to the creator. The comfortability, and the use of filler words. So we're gonna take it back to 2020 in this moment, and I'm gonna show you how I spoke. <clears throat> Get to act a little bit right now. What's up guys? Um, my name is Mike Gray. I'm a film photographer based in Los Angeles, but um, I'm originally from Dallas, Texas, 
and my goal is to um grow my audience on youtube and um create beautiful art but uh yeah you know like um words like that don't sound good when you're speaking so let's see how these script cleans all of that up. What's up guys? My name is Mike Gray. I'm a film photographer based in Los Angeles. I'm originally from Dallas, Texas. And my goal is to grow my audience on YouTube and create beautiful art. Look, I still use a lot of filler words, but the thing is I have to go in the editing software and cut those filler words out. And that takes so much time. When you have Descript, you don't have to take that time to cut all those filler words out. AI does it for you. They have an auto caption generating tool, which allows you to not have to tediously go through every word that you're saying and type in everything that you're saying in your video. It generates it by itself, saving time with all of these things, whether it may be a few seconds or a few minutes, I think will help better your workflow, better your process as a creator, and essentially you'll be able to grow your brand and your business and create more content for people to enjoy. Last but not least, this is something that will save everybody tons of time. And there are people who love their job as an editor. No disrespect to you. It's therapeutic. It's nice when it's nice. Descript's text-based editing system, out of this world. I'm gonna tell you right now, when you can use a transcript and type in how you want your clips to be cut, rearranged, put together. It's insane how AI is shifting. All right, so now let's hop into the computer so I can show y'all how this works. Hey, what's up? I'm Mike Gray. I shoot on the Pentax 6-7. I'm based in Los Angeles, California, and I'm a film photographer. All right, guys, so now we are in front of the computer and we are using the text-based feature in Descript. I'm able to see everything I said in the video through the transcript, but I'm able to rearrange it so we can fix the talking points and make the video make more sense. So as you guys can see, I'm rearranging this transcript from what I originally said and moving things around to show you how it can be structured differently. Hey, what's up? I'm Mike Gray. I'm based in Los Angeles, California. I shoot on the Pentax 6-7 and I'm a film photographer. This is the one of many tools in Descript editing, but it has made my workflow exponentially faster. Um, and I feel like it's important as a content creator to be able to pump out things fast and get things done quickly. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. These are features that are beneficial to me as a content creator, but Descript has so many different features, but I really wanted it to make it relatable to my experience. And I feel like the issues that I had starting out are issues that are pretty consistent throughout the content creation community. If you are interested in knowing every single tool and detail and benefit of Descript, there are many different videos on YouTube that will give you the breakdown and the logistics of everything. But I just wanted to highlight the few that I really resonated with and benefited me. If you enjoyed this, if you feel that it could be useful to you, uh, click the link in my description. They also offer a free subscription for a limited amount of time. It's worth a try just so you can get used to the system and the platform. So I hope you all enjoyed this, man. Like the video if you rocked with it. Subscribe to the channel. And I want to thank Descript for offering such an intuitive platform to help creators like myself and everybody starting out. I think all of these tools that we discussed will help you and continue to help me as a creator. See y'all on the next one. Peace.